The result of two regional elections in Germany's east have sent shockwaves through Europe. That a far-right party, known for its relativism and ambiguity about Germany's Nazi past, was able to win, is being met with disbelief. The leader of the Liberal group in the European Parliament, Valérie Ayer, called it unprecedented and a dark day for Germany and for Europe. The European Commissioner for the Economy, Paolo Gentiloni, posted a bitter comment on the strong result of the far right and the populist far left. Friends of Russia in a former USSR satellite state, enemies of migrants in the German area with little immigration, rancor against everything and everyone, tweeted Gentiloni. It is unlikely that the AfD and the far left Sarah Wagenknecht party will turn this majority into a governing coalition, but could this strong anti-Ukrainian and pro-Russian sentiment influence the German or even the European position on supporting Ukraine? Luckily, I must say, uh, the lender do not decide on, on foreign policy, so the, the support in Germany, according to all the polls we know, is quite high in support, and the same goes for Europe. If you look into the numbers of young people who voted up to 40% to the extremist parties, then it is about the future and the vision we can give to them and the hopes, of course. Of the one of the biggest losers of both regional elections is the Green Party, part of the governing coalition in Berlin. In Thuringia, they failed to get a single legislator elected. Does that spell trouble for Germany's ambitious energy transition goals? German Green MEP Michael Bloß believes that the narrative surrounding the tradition should focus more on what has already been achieved, especially in Germany's East. There's different things that we need to address on, 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 on the Eastern part. We in Germany overall need to appreciate more what they have already done in terms of transformation and how they have already achieved a lot. But with the political landscape changed beyond recognition and former coalition reduced to irrelevance, the newly elected legislators in Saxony and Thuringia will first have to somehow find a way of forming a government.